What have I done today? Oh, um, uh, I cleaned. We watched old YouTube videos. <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> They're like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, recreate it? <laughs> recreate what? I worked out, I went to CVS and picked stuff up. It was just one of those, although it wasn't Sunday, it was kind of Sunday. One of those Sundays. But, but I was thinking today when I was editing my video that was posted yesterday, um, I was super frustrated with the edit and I was just like, I couldn't get over it, how much I disliked it. Um, and then I, I just kind of like, I pretty much just said fuck it. and. Um, rendered it out and uploaded it, and then like as I was rewatching it, I, like after it was uploaded, I was like, okay, well, it's actually not that bad, and I'm kind of proud of this. Like it worked out way better than I thought it was working out as I was editing it. So that kind of sparked because I was trying to figure out like what I'm gonna make this episode about, and so that sparked that idea of making this episode all about creativity um, and the creative process, what I kind of have to go through every single day. Also, and got us. These sick sweatshirts. Benny got one that's similar um, for Blocko. And it's just sick. Like, I've never seen a sweatshirt like this. So, I'm pretty hyped about it. So, anyways, let's get into this. So, I'm someone that grew up not thinking that I was a creative. Like, there were things that I, I was good at, like sports and school. Um, but I kind of like put those creative people, those real artistic or whatever people, in a different realm, that I wasn't really one of those people. There were some people that were like that and others that weren't. I was wrong. I now know that every single one of us is a creative in their own respect, but it's just about bringing that out and fostering the creativity to become something great. Which that whole fancy sounding sentence is much easier said than done. So then the question becomes, well, how do you do that? So I'm going to walk you guys kind of through some of my stories and things that I've gone through and maybe it'll kind of make sense of how I think you can do that. No one ever became great at something by waiting for the perfect time to start. You get out there and you do it. You hustle. You try and you fail and you try and you fail and that's what it's all about. It's progress. This whole daily vlogging thing has pushed me to become comfortable with putting my work, my content out into the world without it being absolutely perfect. I have an impetus to create. And that has made me a better videographer, a better editor, and a better YouTuber all around. So this whole impetus thing, it's obviously a lot of work, but that's what's needed. I get a lot of comments saying people are complimenting my editing, which is extremely flattering because that's what I take a lot of pride in and what I think sets me apart from other YouTubers, other vloggers. Um, but the thing is, that is not just something that I happen to be good at. I've literally been editing videos that are similar to this in a similar style since 8th grade. And now I'm a sophomore in college. That's a lot of editing. I've been doing this for a long time. Moreover, and on a smaller scale, my vlogging style, which I'm slowly becoming more and more proud of, really only started taking shape, I'd say honestly, over after 100 vlogs. Pieces of my style were always there, and I think that's kind of apparent but it was never kind of coherent. I was, and I guess you could make the argument that I still am, heavily influenced by other creators that I watched, like Justin Esquilona, Sarah Dietschy, and Casey Neistat. Um, and I've been kind of roasted in some of the comments of some of my videos saying like, I'm just a copycat, which I'll, I'll admit, like some of my videos in the past were almost like exact replicas of Casey's style or Justin's style. And I'm okay with that because I slowly was developing my style, I was seeing what worked, what I liked, what I didn't, and slowly but surely it formed into what is now and what is still becoming, still evolving my style of vlog. So for me, I never wanted to be one dimensional and that was true for all aspects of my life and is especially true for the like, creative side. Though my brother was very, very musically talented, I never did any of that, but I was always curious. And I really wanted to impress this girl, so I taught myself how to play guitar, at least a few songs. And then, last year, I taught myself to play piano. Oh, and I also taught myself to play <laughs> ukulele, or this mini guitar. So it was a grind. It was a lot of work, and I by no means am that good at either of them now. And honestly, it was pretty embarrassing starting off, because music is something that we're like, just as you're practicing, people can hear you doing it. But there's a quote that comes to mind that I think 
helped me, although I, I didn't know it until very recently, I think it could help other people overcome that, and that is, if you want to be taken seriously, you need to take something very seriously. So at the end of the day, you have a choice to make, and there are only two options. You can either let other people affect the way you live and the things that you do, or you can do things that you think are cool or interesting and make shit that you're proud of and you care about. If nothing else, prove it to yourself that you're taking something seriously. And people will understand that and respect the passion and then follow what you're trying to do. I think I've learned just as much, if not more, about life from my creative endeavors than I, than I have from like my sports or now being an engineer. The lessons cross over more than you think. Creativity is all about being you. And I know that being myself will help me in my future endeavors in business and engineering. So there's a little background on kind of like the both sides of the creative side and the more discreet like math, hard science, sports side and how that's kind of all morphed into who I am today. Um, but I don't know, there's a lot of challenges there. Obviously I didn't talk about it all, but I love talking about this stuff. Um, so if you guys have questions or whatever, leave them down in the comments. I'll be responding to all you guys as always. Benny, what kind of things do you have? to say. Like, you do a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I thoroughly believe in creating solely for personal... Enjoyment or, like, satisfaction. Satisfaction, correct. So, like, you didn't... What you may think is weird or something like that, embrace it. And... Right. Because growing up, I was always viewed as a weird kid. My mom can back me up on that. Right, and that's the thing about, like, art or, like, creativity is, like, it's not meant to be universal. And that's what's really interesting about it and what sparks interesting conversations and debates. It's like, it's not meant to be universal. So when you make something, it might be really weird. There's Benny's forehead, like, right there. Uh, it might be weird to a lot of people, but that's okay. The, you're going to find your niche of where your creative mind and your creative side fits in perfectly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. If everybody likes what you've done, it's not creative. Interesting. Because creativity means thinking outside the box. If, if people if people hate it, then you're being creative because it's something that yeah. either people fear what they don't believe and understand or understand. I'm sorry that today was a little different of an episode, but it's something, like I said, want to talk about more if you guys are interested. I love talking about it, so I want to kind of make a video about it. And that's, I guess that's what I did. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>